This week on Fly Rod Chronicles, we're up in Grant County, West Virginia, hanging out with Coach Bob Huggins. You know, every year he does a fish fry, and with that fish fry, all the money goes toward cancer research in his mother's name and for Remember the Miners. Now, Hugs is here with his family, bringing his wife, June, and Jackie. There are several donors that's involved and getting to fish with Hugs and I, and it's gonna be an epic trip. It's springtime, the weather's broken, and it is time to get our fish on. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man, and I never want to forget it, and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming, and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, Coach Bob Huggins at West Virginia University is my favorite basketball coach. Um, he's the fourth winningest active basketball coach. He is getting close to 900 winning games. How many practices has that been? How many bus rides? How many plane rides? How many times has he gotten up and thought about basketball? How many recruiting trips? There's no one in the NCAA that works harder than Bob Huggins. We're headed up to the Grant County Airport to pick up uh, Coach Huggins and his family and good friend Steve Aniline. And then we're gonna take them back to Harmon's and uh, get this event kicked off. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, Steve. Good to see you. Chris, how you doing? Good, you? Good to see you, man. Coach, how you doing? I'm good. Good to see Can't you. Wait to get out here and check that truck out. <laughs> how you doing? Curtis, how are you? Good, good. Good to see you. And you brought the bad daughter. Yeah. I just stuck out free with the Peter pump. I love to fish. I've always loved to fish. My daughter is a is a fishing junkie. She just she loves to fish, and and so we created a fish fry, and I kind of got that idea from people at Kansas State. And it was, we just want to have fun, you know. We want people to come in and enjoy it. We don't want it to be a a, a labor of love. We want people to come in and have fun. And it, I've been blessed. I mean, I've I've had John Calipari at the fish fry. I've had uh, Jerry West at the fish fry. I've had a number of, of great, great people who are more than willing to help. And this year, because of Jerry, we raised $365,000 that goes directly uh, to the Cancer Center for Cancer Research. So we're excited about it, excited about uh, continuing to do it. It's been it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Nice. And then lift the rod up. More slack, more slack, more slack, and then just turn your rod to me. There we go. <laughs> so you're only down what now? According to you, five. <laughs> Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We're out here at Harmon's Cabins. You know, this event just keeps growing. This is the seventh annual. We're just having fun, raising money for the Norma May Huggins Foundation and Remember the Miners. Um, you know, Coach Huggins is working on uh, uh, $5 million that he's raised 
for cancer research. So it's humbling. I'm just glad to be part of it. Look here, fish, fish. That's a good fish, huh? It is a good fish. Man, good hook set there, buddy. Hey, hey, here we go. <laughs> That's a great fish, man. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that dude. That's a stud. Dang, Awesome. Wow. No baby. Dude, look no. at look at this. Look at this. Man, if we could find a good taxidermist, we might be able to do something with that. Nice hook set, Jackie. Huh? Was that the first cast I saw you change? Nice. Yeah. Wow, we we got a, we got a new hugs in town, don't we? Hey Jimmy, what are you doing? Bay watching in there? You, huh? I seen you switch. You're probably not gonna tell us what you switched to, are you? It's a good fish, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, man. What's that? We got a double going on here. Keep fishing. What? what? The Anaheim boys are back. Fly Rod Chronicles with the Anilines. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Let them have it, let them have it. Oh, he dove on you. Yeah, he's bulldog. He really is. There he is. Good fish. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Look at that. You the man. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we just, we just, it, it just got crazy all at once. You know, at Fly Rod Chronicles, every now and then, we try to build a montage where it's just fish, fish, and, and, and play a little music. Um, the music was playing. I mean, Jackie, she stuck a fish, really good fish. We're trying to get a picture of it. We got one camera guy going down this way and one coming up this way because the Aniline boys both double up. Um, you know, they're trying to take my job apparently because every time, every time I fish with these guys at the fish fry, um, they put the boom on me. And, and, that, and that's what's great about the Hugs Fish Fry. You get people like this out here, everybody having fun. I, like I said, it just got chaotic for a while. Oh, yes. And I still don't think it's a big, big dark one. Man, that is a good fish, Chad. Oh, did you see that go? That's, that's someone's fault right there. I think it's us too. Yep. Going to the bench. Going to the bench. I know my role. I feel like Daxter Miles and I just blew a layup. Come back to Fly Rod Chronicles right after this. From the time you're born till you meet the master, that's your record. Give him a good record. Give him a record of honor. And give all the rest a record of honor. Because we're all important, we're all unique, we all have a divine purpose. We all are loved by the Heavenly Father. Now bless this food and bless this day. And may they rejoice and be glad that they know the Lord and that they serve Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, the two organizations that mean the most to me obviously are the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Fund. I lost my mother way, way, way too early. and. Um, 
I sat with my four sisters and two brothers and said, you know, cards and flowers and all that are nice, but we need we need some money for research and we're we're about at five million dollars now. So I, you know, hopefully we've made an impact. And and the other was I, I called Senator Mansion. Um, the last mine disaster and said, is there anything I could do to help? And he said, yeah, you can come down here. And so uh, we rounded up food and water and all those kind of things went down there. And I actually walked in right after they were told that probably nobody was coming out and you, your heart just sinks. And, and so we created Remember the Miners because I think what happens is we have a dis terrible disaster like that. And for you know a week or so, everybody feels really bad and then you forget about it and go on with your life. And, I didn't want to do that, and uh, so we remember the miners is a scholarship program for the siblings of miners. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Leave it right there for a second. Leave it right there. Fish, fish, fish. 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 Atta boy, right. big Jimmy. Now let him go. Let him go. Jimmy. Let him go. Let him take drag out. And oh, woo -hoo. enjoy the ride, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. So Jimmy, you're smiling too much. You're gonna, hey, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fix the lighting of it. You're smiling way too much. <laughs> you are the man. Oh, give it to me, baby. Woo! I love it. Woo! I love it. TV fish, baby. I love it. Woo! He read the script. <laughs> Yeah, take your hand off the reel when he wants to go. Oh, we gotta land this guy. I'm speechless for the first time in my life. And I'm I'm telling you, I gotta make sure I have all ten toes. This thing's huge. Uh, uh, dad, go on. Yeah, I missed him. Oh, he's not around here. No, no, Here. tell me no. So uh, this segment's brought to you by uh, Fruit of the Loom. Um, I, as you can see, I am soaked and wet, um, clear down to my socks. Um, Jimmy had a monster fish on, and, and as you can see, it, it, it did everything it was supposed to do for TV. It jumped, it, it, it just bulldogged, and, and I got like three, three, strikes at it and long story short maybe the fish of the trip got off and it was because of me i own it so tell me a little bit about what you do well we're we run a we run a pipeline company yep. we're primarily in the uh in the midwest yep and uh, it's it's we deliver energy yep to our customers uh, yep. but what's most important is the people Yep. I mean, we are we are an organization of yeah. fantastic people. Yep. And that's what uh that's what I love about the company. Yep. Our company is Southern Star. Nice. And uh, and it's just a it, it's 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 we deliver what we think drives America's economy today. Nice. Uh, nice. With some really wonderful people like Mac McCoy yep. and uh, and a bunch of other folks yep. in uh, in Owensboro and uh, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. Nice. So, nice. People. You know anyone that knows David Alvarez. He's a practical joker, and he likes having a little fun with Coach Hugs here. Let it go, let it go. Atta boy. Nice fish. Way to go, David. Reel him right over here. Just, just take your rod tip, come toward me. He likes hugs. <laughs> hey, Hug, what's he doing, man? He's doing that on purpose, Hug. Give me a fish, David. Get out of here. <laughs> That's dirty. That's dirty right there, man. <laughs> Good fish. <laughs> So Harmons has been providing memories of a lifetime for 80 years. 1939, Fred Harmons started the business. 
you know, uh, 80 years later, third generation's running the business, and we love to create memories for people. Harmon's is a great place to do it. Um, we want to thank Coach Huggins for bringing uh, people from his event, uh, the Norma May Huggins and the Remember the Miners Foundation has raised uh, about $5 million um, with great supporters who came here and just uh, had a great, great trip. You know, they showed up as supporters and sponsors and they became friends and family. And um, we, we left here with memories that will cherish the rest of our lives. If you're looking up today and you're thinking, I want to spend uh, time with my family that I'm going to cherish the rest of my life, you just, you know, pick up a phone, call Harmon's um, Log Cabins. It's easy, 800-436-6254. Um, this is absolutely heaven on earth. It's IGFA Catch of the Week. We're waiting. Oh! There you go. There you go. You got it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. There you go. There you go. Nice. Take out a camera, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> but, hey, wait a minute. You haven't got. It. You haven't seen me stab at it yet. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this. Holy Toledo. Look at this thing. That's a Hey, I think it's bigger than your dad. They usually are. <laughs> just get, get a hold of his tail just like this. Under the belly. There you go. There you go. Wow. Wow. Like a pro. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Coach, how you doing? I'm good. Good to see Can't you. Wait to get out here and check that truck out. <laughs> here. So, so what do you think of the wrap? Come over here, look at. No, seriously. Because we, the first time we met, my truck had what? How many pictures of it? Of you? Yeah. Seven side. Seven on each side. Mm -hmm. So we've decreased it. To five. No, we've decreased it. Well, by two. We only got one, two, three on the truck. What are you talking about one, two, three on the truck? One, and there's one on the other on, side. On just on the truck, yeah. One, two, three. Well, you had seven on the truck without the trailer before. So we decreased it. And you know how every time you get me on... I just thought it hurt advertising. Well, you, you always you always tell me you make fun of it. You get me on Tony Caridi's show, and less is more. Huh? Less is more. Okay. Well, I, I I did look look right over. Well, look right here. Let me show you. That's your daughter right there. That's Autumn. So I, I want you to know this year you actually you did make the truck. Did I make the truck? You made the truck. <laughs> I did make the truck. You know what? Here's the bad part, and I got the fly fishing chronicles hat on too. <laughs> there we go. On the streamer. Chad, what's he got? I'm on the thing what he's using. I think he's got a small whale. Look how big it is. Hugs. That's my own fishing show. What? What? Oh, you think you, you, you uh, I'll hold this coach with the reel. Yeah. Is that uh that's a big fish. Yeah, the fish. There you Holy. Go. Do you see it? Do you see how big it is? It, well it looks huge. <laughs> telling you. I, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to edit this out. Harmon's cabin. How are we gonna edit this big fish out? You can't. Well, well you've done it before. <laughs> you've done it before. <laughs> Look at this. Just raise the rod straight up. There we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. Huh? Uh -huh. Hugs. That's kind of fun right there. You're fun. Look at that guy. Look at this. So, Chad, you're a world class taxidermist. What's the girth on that thing? Probably it's 17 inches. Girth? Yeah. 18 maybe. 25 inches long? Wow. Probably.
It's time for Trout Unlimited Release of the Week. This was a cool event though, wasn't it? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Great people. Yeah. Absolutely great yeah. people. Fun people. Yeah. Uh, they really enjoyed fishing, which is fun to watch. Yeah. I know I know for you to see people catch, you know, more and bigger fish than you, yeah. it, it really just touches your heart. Doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does. Time the show's edited and we edit your fish out and put mine in. It's gonna be a pretty daggone good show. Well, that's generally what happens. <laughs> that's not generally what happens, Doug. <laughs> Come on, man. We show all your fish. No, you know, you can't. You wouldn't. The show would go way over if you. Oh my. No, God. no. I caught ten in about what was it? Half an hour. I love you, buddy. Love you, bro. Yeah. Thank you much. Can't wait till next year. It'll come fast. The planning's already started. It'll come fast. I know. Love you, man. Love you too.